David Bay here for MuscularDevelopment.com. We're in Miami for the 2014 NPC Nationals. Just wrapped everything up with the overall, and I am here with new IFBB Pro and your welterweight winner, Santi Aragon, and of course, his coach, Stan McQuay, IFBB Pro. And two of them are with me now. Uh, Santi, one of the things that gets talked about so much about these national competitions is that the quality and the conditioning just hasn't really been there over the last couple of years. You know, we spoke to you just a little over 48 hours ago, saw you at weigh-ins, knew you were going to bring good shape. You absolutely, I shouldn't say you killed the welterweight class because the second place finisher, Denver Smith, also brought really good conditioning. But I mean, as far as just coming in and really nailing for a bodybuilding show, you did it as good as anybody that we've ever seen. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, how you're feeling after your win. I feel good. Um, you know, it was a, uh... It's always tricky to peak twice in two days. Uh, I, I feel like that that's always uh, a challenge for me because you always try to put all your marbles into one and then the other one is obviously you, you meet an expectation already and it's always hard to come up the second time and kind of surpass that. So um, it's always hard to find that happy medium between being nice and full and nice and ripped for both times that you gotta be on stage. So I think that was the trickiest part um, but I feel great right now. I mean, I got some fluids in. I got a big smile on my face. My all my family's here, so I, I really I can't complain right now. I feel awesome. All right, now Stan, when he talks about peaking for a show twice in two days, you know, one of the things that you know I'm sure you've seen this over the years is a lot of guys leading into a show. They might not look the best three weeks out, two weeks out, but they can really bring it together. Um, with the way he looked leading into the show, I mean, we all saw the pictures online, and we knew he was in great shape. Uh, you know, as far as two, three weeks out, probably, probably even earlier than that. Did you really have any doubts that he was going to be on the money here? Oh, not, without a doubt, I knew he was he was going to be on the money. Um, I told him earlier in the year, let's try something a little different because uh, I don't know if people remember he was a middleweight. Uh, he he competed at the USA's at a 176, and he was in really good shape then. So he's, you know, he can hold the muscle. Uh, we just had to really kill him this year. So what we did is we just said no heavy off season. Just try to stay relatively in good shape. I mean, he lives in Miami and it's summertime and, you know, hey, you stay in great shape and enjoy it. So when it comes time to diet, you won't have to suffer as much. Um, although he did have to suffer to get down to welterweight. That was tough. Yeah. yeah, you don't you don't show up in that kind of conditioning without suffering some. That's thing, you know. Bob and Peter and I will talk about that a lot in our interviews. Some of the guys today just don't want to suffer like they used to, and that's you know that's part of it. They want to have their their pop tarts and whatever else people are, people are doing. Um, but you, you don't look like you did without you know without really putting in the work. Now you know obviously uh, as a welterweight, um, you got a lot of room to grow end of this 212 class and it's probably a little bit early to even be talking about your you know your involvement in your next IFBB show um, but it's one of those things hey I, I got to bring it up and talk about it was it one of those things where before the show you were like you know what if I win my pro card here's going to be my game plan um, I obviously it's some time off you know um, it's uh, I kind of try to look at the guys that got th that are currently in the 212 class division that uh, kind of got their pro card at my weight and then kind of see how long they took off before they actually started uh, competing in the in the pro level uh, like Jose Raymond, Guy Cicerino, these uh, smaller guys that came in as Walter Waits, middleweights. Uh, it seems like the standards is about two years to kind of build that quality size. Uh, one thing that I never did before is actually have a structured off season. I'm one of those guys that can get away with eating literally whatever I want and still not gain fat and still train. So I mean. this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be one of those years that I'm you know going to actually have a structured off season, you know macros and everything, and fit my meals in and all that good stuff, and see you know if I could do it without it, and I still I, I can just imagine what I could look like if I actually put work into an off season plan. Absolutely, and bringing up Guy Sister to his name and even Stan is a great point. I believe you turned pro as a middleweight, correct, actually, or a light heavyweight? Yeah, on the on on the smaller end, well, smaller, lighter end, not smaller. Uh, but guy, sister Nino, great point. Turned pro as a middleweight. You know, guy was one of those guys after turning pro. You know, he he necessarily probably won't want to hear, it, but people were like, eh, we don't know how he's going to be able to fare. You know, in in the IFBB, he's made massive gains, and obviously now he's winning shows. He's placed in top ten at the Olympia, so you know, uh, a lot of room for you to grow into this class. And I know I speak for everybody when I say we look forward to seeing you on an IFBB stage. 
whenever that may be, 2015 or 2016. But for right now, we'll let you enjoy your win. Thank you so much. Eat some of that food you were talking about. Spend some time with your friends and family and uh, let them give you a few more congratulations for your win. Um, but uh, once again, congratulations for myself, everybody at MuscularDevelopment.com. We're going to wrap it up, guys. This is David Bay with new IFBB Pro Santi Aragon and his coach, IFBB Pro Stan McQuay for MuscularDevelopment.com.